Hey guys, Bruno here, welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are for a brand new episode. It's been quite a while since we've played. Uh, we're here in the Ocean Scout, which is um, one of the brand new boats available now with the Scallop DLC or Scallop, 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 whatever you want to call it. We call them Scallops over here in Australia. So, um, just up here in Yarmouth, just need to turn around and head out of here. We can head down. Um, and let's clear this stuff because I have actually been out and done a little bit of fishing just to test it all out. We'll head out of Yarmouth. Can we keep turning? Turn a little bit sharper would be nice, but it's not the best turning thing. Head out of Yarmouth and we'll go down to try and catch some um, scallops. Try and take off these side thrusters. Go full speed ahead out of here. Uh, where's our lights? Let's go working interior lights. It's getting quite um, dark at the moment. Let's set up a autopilot so I can. Um, that'll do down to there. So I can actually jump out of the seat and have a quick look around the boat. Don't want that there. Get rid of that one. There we go. Alright, so I think autopilot should be switched on. Yep, it should be. Alright, let's um, we'll jump out of the seat. Have a quick look around the boat. This is the inside of the boat. The binoculars, our knife, our logbook or PDA. This has got um, the depth under the boat. This is either net, so the red net and the green net and the catch levels, this is where we are in our sonar of course. Let's head out onto the deck. This is one of our cranes on the right hand side, another crane on the left hand side and we'll use these to uh, pick up the nets here as you can see and dump them out in the water, drag them behind and hopefully pick up some scallops. So let's um go around here we can. Probably not too much out the front of the boat here I don't think. No, nothing really, just a good place to relax I suppose. Let's go down into the front of the boat. Uh, this should be, I don't know, I thought it was going to be a bathroom. No, it's somewhere for the life jackets. There's a bathroom with a great view outside. One of our workers, she's cooking away. This is one of the bedrooms. And that's it, back up into the cab. And there's a photo of the Ocean Scout. I think she might be finished cooking, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, outside here we've got um, the area for our scallops so we can cut them open. Uh, we can store in the bottom of the boat here, both of our nets. Our buckets we sort um, the scallop into. I don't know if there is actually Go into, no, let's change our view again, to the PDA thing here. Uh, wiki, fish type, have they got scall sea scallops? There we go. I don't know if there's different sexes, I don't think there is. So a scallop is a marine bivalve mollusk of the family Pectinidae, I guess you say. Scallops are thick, dislike animals inside two fan-like shells, like cockles and mussels. The shell protects animal in the middle, which is the part that we like to eat. Scallops live in all the world's oceans. There are over 350 species of scallops worldwide, but only two are cultured in Nova Scotia. The sea scallop and the bay scallop. The sea scallop can be caught all year round. I think, is that, yeah, that's the only scallop that we've got. Size is the most obvious difference when dis distinguishing sea scallops and bay scallops. Sea scallops are quite large, at 3 to 5 centimetres in diameter. The base scallops are smaller and have not so much re relevance in Nova Scotia. Some sea scallop shells have been th grown, shown to grow up to 20 centimetres wide. Normally the bigger the outer shell is, the bigger the meat is in the middle. Sea scallops have a, a saucer-shaped shell with scalloped or fluted edges. The upper shell is usually reddish, pink or brown in colour. The lower shell is white or cream. Uh, 5 to 10 percent of the sea scallops are albinos with white upper and lower shells. Their main adaption is the ability to swim by clapping their valves together. Awesome. Right, jump in the seat. Look at our map. 
Um, I, the only place I've been able to find scallops is down here, which was from four days ago. But what I'm going to do is we'll head down uh, here, do a bit of a speed thing, just to get us down there a little bit quicker. Alright, and I'm going to set autopilot to here, and I'm going to change it down to five knots. I think between five to seven knots is the perfect speed. Um, we're gonna need some. We have got all our lights on, don't we? I think we do. I right, bring up our workers over here. So she's cooking, um, dredging. One star dredging. I should say one star. So she's good at dredging. You're not so good at dredging. Alright, I guess you guys will just come out and we'll set them down. We're going to have a couple of guys uh, sorting. Oh look, gutting. You're pretty good at gutting. You're not really good at anything, so we'll throw them over there like that. There we go. Um, why are we not... Ooh, auto pull up would help. There we go. Now we can bring up our sonar over here as well. Or not our sonar. Is that dolphins? Can't quite see. Looks like dolphins on the map. Um, it'll come throw the nets in. As you can see, our sonar's on this side. I don't know if there's any scallops on the sonar. But the nets have to go down to the bottom. So the, the nets get dragged along the bottom to catch the scallops. So once these guys get down to 98 metres, um, then hopefully if we're above scallops, this net here will catch into here we catch up to 100% which will be great obviously these guys on the deck are still just sitting there hanging out for now oh don't do that uh, searchlight don't know if I'm even moving that there we go something like that there we go um, thousand kilo capacity for our boat which is quite a bit actually it really really is so we can just sit inside here and just wait see what happens keep an eye on our stuff here it's weird that it zooms in like that but once it gets down to 97 meters if we're above scallops which we should see over here we should start to bring some aboard the boat it's a very very nice boat i know this is the middle boat there's three boats available uh, with a new DLC, this is the middle range boat. The first one I did start off with, it just seemed like a lot of extra work. Um, considering I've already made millions of dollars anyway, so we might as well go to the next tier. The Ocean Scout, that way we can have people working alongside us. Just to make it that little bit easier. Um, right, let's bump this up to 6. See if we can get a little bit more speed. As I said, I can't see any scallops down here. Is it, well, that's a, sh that's a shark. I swear that's a picture of a bloody shark. Is that what that is? Right there? Where is it? That. Oh no, that looks like a, that's a tuna like a bloody shark on the map. Actually, it might be a shark. Over here, I don't know if we can go find any shark or not, I'm not quite sure. Um, right, have a look. So our net on our right hand side, or the green side, is full. So now we can switch it over so she can bring that up. Once again, I haven't seen anything on here for scallops yet. So, not sure if they're even on the map at all. Just continue to head across this way, but that's definitely a shark, so not sure what that's all about. As like I said, it's been a while since we've played, so I don't know if that's something that, like Jaws, will attack the boat, or if we can actually harpoon it and catch it. I don't know. Can we go into our PDA here, we can. Um, like wiki. 
I don't think there's anything in there. No. Fish prices, we can't sell shark anywhere, so I don't think we can catch it. Right, so keep an eye on this. So, from what I've seen so far, we only ever catch it with one net. I haven't seen both nets catch at the same time. So, yeah, I'm not sure. What I'm also going to do is maybe change this and bring this back again. Just have it so we've got like a little route set up. I don't know how long we're going to go for because it's going to take us quite a while to fill the boat. I'm going to bump up our speed a little bit more because we should be between five to seven knots. So this net is not far off being up on the deck, so you can actually see on her screen there, she's the green side, red side over here, so she'll start to use the crane and to pick up that net, and it does get thrown all over the place as you can see, they'll drop it down on the deck, try not to kill any of our workers please, thank you, and then she'll grab it from the other end, um, this end here and dump it all out in the ground and then they'll sort through the scallops there we go now they'll do their thing we can go back to here look back to our workers and go uh, throw that back out please then hopefully she will throw that back out in the water so they've done that we can go downstairs and check on our never mind see our guy over here who was meant to be cutting them open but here we go this other side so the red side is now full I said once again it's like we're only catching one side or the other but 1,300 kilos of sea scallop caught pretty good have a look and see uh, catch time gutting two star gutting obviously we need to get a bit better at that okay we seem to be going a little bit too quick again I think it's between seven to nine knots so see the minute I reduce it it just okay, it's too bloody slow so they're both working away she's still dropping this side back down, this other side's getting lifted back up again. Not sure where that, um, that shark's gone. Can't see it for now, which is a bonus. So 100,000 kilos, so we could pretty much do about 80 or 90 nets full. I have completely upgraded the boat with um, our cargo hold as full as it can be best engine, the best sonar, the best searchlight, all that sort of stuff. I'll have a look at this now. So that's nearly up. This one's back down. But see, it's not catching anything at the moment. So I'm not sure as if that's meant to be like that, if that's a bug or if that's just how it is. I'd like the devs to, to let us know, I guess, whether that this is a bit of a bug. Oh no, there we go. I think she's, she's catching again on the green side. So done. You can bring that back in. Put a beacon over there, look at that. Shining right in our face. So she'll lift that up. I'll dump that back out onto the ground. And then we'll throw the, the um, net back out again. It's quite, quite a good DLC. Something that I sort of didn't see coming, I suppose. Not sure what else they sort of fish in Nova Scotia, so I'm sure this is it, the text block keeps coming up all the time. But she'll drop that back down, and then she'll pick it back up again from the other end. And drag it along again. So this one's coming in. Which is good to see. 14, 15 kilos of sea scallop. Awesome. It's 
one and a half tons of scallop at a time. It's pretty bloody good. Right, so we'll keep an eye on this again. So that the red side. Is that star? I can't remember the starboard or port. Oh, that's one thing I cannot never remember. Um, back out again. This side's getting emptied. And then we'll dump you back out in the water again and try and grab some more. So it's um this like it's quite a surprise that this was come out as a DLC, something I didn't expect, but it is pretty cool so far. So you guys just let me know if you've got the game so far, if you brought the DLC, what do you think of it? Is there anything that they could improve? That sort of stuff. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. I think it's pretty good so far. Another 1,281 kilos. We should wouldn't change these every time. So our net on the left-hand side is just about at the depth of the water again. So I wonder if sort of in these areas, or maybe even in here, is going to be better, because obviously we don't want to go too deep. Not quite sure as to how deep the scallop actually goes to, but as I said, I don't think I've seen anything. I haven't seen any fish, any scallop, nothing on the sonar so far. Right, that side's full again. Didn't take long my time. I guess one thing I'd like to see is us being able to upgrade the size of the net. Like the net feels really, really, really quick. And it's only 1,200, 1,500 kilos. I know there is a bigger boat, which we may look at buying for next episode if we continue to, to release content on this. But um, yeah, we'll have a look and see how much that boat's actually worth. I think it's worth like 7 or 8 million, so... Got a little bit of cash to find before we can afford to buy that thing just yet. But what I'll do guys is I'll throw in a bit of a cut here. But half filled nearly. Throw in a bit of a cut here and I'll bring you guys back once we've caught a heap more scallop. And um, might head back to town and see what money we're going to get for these guys. So I'll bring you guys back very, very soon. Alright here guys, I thought I'd bring you guys back. I've been driving around for the last 15, 20 minutes and literally found um, one lot of our 400 kilos so not much at all at the moment um, not quite sure where the scallops have gone but let's bring everything in uh, and we'll send everyone back over to rest and um, I guess we'll head back to town we don't have much on board uh, we have five and a half thousand Five and a half tons of sea scallops, and so not much. But I said I'd, I've been going around, around, around for ages, and literally haven't found anything. I went up and back, and then gone back again this way, and I still just uh, can't find it. So I don't think there's any way, from what I've seen reading um, some stuff on Steam, there's no way to find scallops on the map here, on the sonar much relying on other people to tell you uh, where the scallops and stuff are so let's just head back this way bring these nets in and uh, we'll fast travel to Yarmouth and we'll go from there sell up and um, see what's going on we'll get Pearl in cooking Nora she's good at cooking as well what are you good at not much Thomas isn't good at much at all. I guess so she's got really good stamina, which is great. Sadie doesn't. You do. So maybe we should swap them over. Like, um... You should go there, and you should go there. Keep bringing them in, though. We'll just have the have um, Pearl and Emma doing our crane stuff. So I think that's in, so you can go and rest up. Some redfish down there. Just good to see. Alright, once that's on the boat, uh, you can, once you're finished, oh, there we go. you can go back to there. And I guess we can 
beams aren't lowered. What are you talking about? Right, can we fast? We, why can't we fast travel? Lost beams are lowered. The beams aren't lowered, my friend. Toggle. Okay, so maybe. There you go. I don't know if that makes a difference. Uh, total beams. We don't want to grab it. Ah, now we can fast travel. Right, let's get rid of that and we'll go straight to Yarmouth. Took us just around about two hours to get there, just under two hours. And we'll sell what we've got, and we'll see if we can get some uh, information. Yes, we want to sell our catch, so we've got $60. Usually sells for 25 bucks a kilo. Hell yeah, that's a good price. Uh, 1,000 kilos. 100% fresh, so 5 point... Quantity, oh, 1,002 sea scallops. 5.6 tons. 337,000. Plus an extra 25,000 for port ramp. Then we pay now, guys, a total of 30,000. We've got 332. Gives us up above 4 million again. So let's go to the bar. There's no tips at the moment. Oh, bit garbage. Um, let's have a look at the shipyard. What do we have in here? So we have um, nothing in here that's new that we can actually use. I do have uh, the old Ben, as you can see here. Which is the original one. Max additional crew of four. And then we've got the Ocean Scout, which is the one we've got at the moment. So I think I'll try and look at um, getting the other one, if we can. So where's our bank repay the loan? You are debt free. We can get another four million. Let's let's take out that. So now we are rich as eight million. But so what I'll do is I'll upgrade and we'll get the bigger boat, and then I guess we'll come back and see if we can find some more scallops. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the scallop DLC, and if you want to see some more. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Prudo. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.